The Alienware M18R1 is Alienware's first 18-inch device since the Alienware 18. The M18 starts at $2,100 with range-topping models capped out at $5,000 plus Dell warranties. As far as we are concerned, the M18 has only one main competitor in this segment, the Razer Blade 18, and even then, that system is smaller, which is ultimately what makes it a completely different machine, and we'll talk about that later. I optioned mine for occasional away from my PC gaming with 32 gigs of memory, an RTX 4070, a Ryzen 9, and a terabyte of storage, and a 480 Hertz 1200p panel. Memory is not upgradable on the model we got, however it is on the RTX 4080 and 4090 models. We wish that it was upgradable across the board. There's no reason that if you buy a 4060, you shouldn't be able to add more memory if you want. Portability is not a concern here. This notebook is lighter than the Alienware 18 was by nearly four pounds, but it still isn't light or portable. The system ships with a 330 watt charger that is quite large. Build quality here is excellent. The trackpad is standard Dell Alienware Fair with a nice, pleasant, smooth, and tactile feel with solid click response. Tracking feels solid and totally usable, worlds better than some of the Lenovo and Asus trackpads that we've felt. Flex is non-existent here, and the finish is soft and pleasant, and the key travel on the standard keyboard is something I could type on forever without much trouble. As always, the keyboard is lit up, along with various alien heads and rear case lighting around the device. All zones are bright and alien effects is neat to see in games that support it. Notable titles currently are Modern Warfare 2 and Diablo 4. Our system ran in the mid 40 degree range and rarely ever got hotter than 65 to 75 degrees Celsius under load in any game we threw at it. As far as we are concerned, this is to be expected on a system of this size and weight. Although other systems in this class, such as the Blade 18, do not stay nearly as cool. The M18 didn't drop any frames or have any stuttering of any kind, and 1% and 0.1% lows even were extremely high across the board compared to other systems at this price range, including the Asus M16 and the Alienware M16, at nearly 20 to 30 degrees cooler across the board. Not to mention that average frame rates were way faster than any other 4070 notebook that we've tested. As far as we are concerned, we feel that the conclusion is not as simple as other systems we've reviewed. The M18 is well built and clearly serves its purpose well as an all-encompassing do-it-all system for those who want to sacrifice portability for power and a huge screen. The Alienware M18 is the desktop replacement that you need. It runs cool, fast, and has plenty of power to back up its huge size. The main other system to consider here is the Razer Blade 18, which we feel is a better choice for those looking for a more portable system, although we may question your purchase of an 18-inch device if you're looking for portability at this size. In our testing, the M18 performed better. However, Razer Synapse never offered any issues for us, which we cannot say about Alienware Command Center. More about that in the description. Customers looking to purchase multiple units may favor Dell for their premium enterprise customer service. Likewise, if this system is going to be stationary as a desktop replacement, we suggest the Alienware for its lower temps and lower fan noise. The Alienware's deck also measured much cooler than the Razer did. We like the screen on the Razer Blade better by a lot if you are going to do content creation or consumption workflows, but for gaming, it's really hard to argue with 480 Hertz, twice what the Razer Blade is putting out. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribing ensures future video creation. Don't forget to stick around for the next video where we discuss the benefits of trackball mice for competitive first-person shooters.